Hey everyone, welcome back to the 6.5 Summit. It's day one, we are in the connected Intelligent Edge track. I'm Daniel Newman, one of the hosts here of the 6.5. Very excited for this next conversation. I'm going to have Gil Schneerson, SVP of the Edge business at Dell, joining me to talk a little bit about this market, this business, and what's going on at the Edge. Gil, how are you doing? Very good, Daniel, how are you? Great, thanks so much for making time. Um, it's always great to have these in person, being able to sit down, 6.5 Summit is, Huge event, you're in day one. We got three days, more than 50 of your peers speaking about everything from chips to SaaS, but the edge is a red hot topic. It is. With the proliferation of data, all the AI speak, cars, cities, telco, there's so many edges. Just love to start, Gil. Just talk to me a little bit about kind of how you're seeing the edge business changing and growing. Well, we have data that it's changing and growing. The question is why, right? And. Um, <laughs> I think a few things are happening. Um, first of all, we have a much more ability to capture data because we have more sensors um, and more technology that becomes more affordable. So we can, you know, the first thing is it happens because we can. Second, we have all of those innovations on the cloud part that allow us to um, do machine learning of many more models. Um, we have a lot of software defined technology that makes it easier. And lastly, um, there are business um, challenges, right? You either want to be more productive, or you want to be, um, in the case of retail, you know, have better customer loyalty and actually bring people back after they've learned that they can do everything from home, and so you need a better experience. All of those things together becomes like almost a perfect storm of why um, there is such a growth in the edge. And at the end of the day, and I think maybe, you know, when we talk about edge, it usually the, the we would ask, well, what is the edge? <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, it's not everybody kind of <laughs> thinks. Differently, it's definitely not one of those things that everyone explains the same way. True, you know, if you're a cloud, then edge is anything outside of the cloud. If you're a telco, maybe it's the edge of the network. Um, our definition of edge is that on-premises outside of a data center compute. And the reason people put it there is because they need to make real-time decisions. And so sometimes it's a problem with latency. You need you know, um, low latency. Sometimes it's a problem with cost, moving data around just to make a decision. Sometimes it's a problem of security or compliance. So for all of those reasons, more and more computers shifting to the edge and that's, you know, that's what's forming this whole conversation, this whole market. So talk to me a little bit, Gil, about Dell's role. You know, I've watched Dell, its story continue to evolve about the edge. Um, I think you guys really have a play as a company in all the things you mentioned. You know, when it comes to telco edge, you've got a play. When it comes to data center edge, you have a play. The enterprise kind of corporate edge, uh, you have a play. And of course, at Dell being a devices company, I know you didn't really talk about that, but there's a pretty significant edge of devices. Did you notice out there. I didn't? I did. On purpose. Yeah, tell me why. How about well, that? I, I kind of did, but um, that's a great question. So, first of all, we have been helping customers at the edge forever. Because if you think about it, we call it edge now, but there was IoT before that. People have been doing business and making decisions outside of a data center forever. But today, or before what we're doing now, we would sell mostly compute. Um, and because we're a very large you know, tech company and we're the leading in every category, it's very likely that they would come to us and ask for a quote and we would... Um, so we sell a lot of compute. Um, and then um, we also sell a lot of, for example, hyperconverged in specifically in edge cases. So we sell you know, products like VxRail into stores, um, multiple store chains and, um, and other operations. The problem is that none of the existing products that we have or others meet all of the constraints of what's going on at the end. So we might solve a management problem, but it's going to be too expensive. We might you know, have a lower cost offer that doesn't have the characteristics that, that you actually need. And so um, what we did two years ago when um, Michael and the ELT decided to um, take a harder look at how much value we can add. The first thing we did is we started talking to customers and the benefit of working for a company like Dell is you can talk to any customer around the world and they will tell you what's, what the problems are and the challenges. And we figured out that the most pressing problem was the complexity and the management of um, all of those edge compute devices. Um, and that's what led us to this vision of native edge that we announced today and so redefining the role of Dell, it is now providing the hardware operating environment, remote management, and application orchestrations 
to any edge environment at any scale. So let's talk about that for a minute. The native edge, you know, at your recent event, uh, Dell Tech World, you guys came out and talked more about it. And obviously, kind of talk is coming. It's not something that's uh, offering for everybody yet, but the offering is going to be, I think, made available later this year. Mm -hmm. Seems like there's a good response. Talk a little bit, what is native edge? You kind of just hinted to it, but give me a little more about what it is. Give me a little bit more about kind of when to expect it. Um, we announced it back in um, Dell Technologies World. Yep. Um, we married basically two major concepts into one platform. The first one is what we call secure device onboarding. Think about a device that you order, hardware in that case, um, by the way, in multiple form factors to make it affordable or cost effective to the workload. So you order a device from Dell, it could be a gateway or a, an Optiplex industrial PC or a server. Secure device onboarding means that we digitally sign it in the factory and we drop ship it to your location. And all you need to do is power it on and connect it to network and that's it. Everything else is done remotely and configurable. So right there and then you think about the, the um, saving of the many, many steps of, of getting software on top of hardware into multiple locations. There's a very long process that people are going through today. So concept number one, secure device onboarding, power on, plug into network and done. What's the mechanism to make that so easy? That's actually a great question. Thanks. <laughs> uh, th this, um, this is innovation that started with Intel a few years back and they okay. open sourced it. Okay. What it actually means, and I can go into a little detail, is this. Um, when you manufacture a PC or a server, um, you can put information on the TPA module, yep. Yep. Uh, encrypted. Yep. What we do is we put a voucher there, a key. Um, and then we post this voucher into what we call a rendezvous server. Yep. It's a service. Yep. And we send the public key to that customer. So this customer has a key that identifies this device one day showing up with their, with their you know, to them ahead of time. And so they claim it. When this device shows up, it calls some you know, generic domain, it's then routed and it sees actually where it belongs. And it's done securely because that device can only go to that customer because of, of the connection we've made. And from there on, it's connected to an orchestrator and everything else is software defined. We push updates and operating environment and the other piece of the innovation, which is application orchestration. So piece number one, secure device onboarding. Piece number two, application orchestration. And the story there is that edge applications are not running at the edge alone. Edge applications are running in many places. Let's talk about a point of sale. Point of sale is running at the store. There's probably some aggregation of data and, and, and management in a near edge location, and there's probably some cloud monitoring application, right? And so our ability to orchestrate services to edge devices, to data centers, and to cloud properties, and then make sure that we uh, monitor and lifecycle a complete outcome of the application itself that's the other part of it. So now you basically smash those two worlds together into one platform. And think about if people you know, are familiar with the, the concepts of DevOps, let's say I have a, a, my own development in-house. I develop edge native applications because I have a specific use case. Um, now I can connect my DevOps pipeline to native edge and distribute the same process I would do to a cloud all the way to all of my edge devices. And so this is innovation that simply doesn't exist. And so we put it together. Um, this was based on a lot of customer feedback. Um, some of it probably stretching beyond what they could see right now um, in anticipation of what they might need. Yep. And that was makes, uh, those are the two pieces that make native edge. Yeah, well, thank you for giving a little bit of the, the, the technical because it's not magic. And I think that's the important <laughs> thing is when they get the box, plug it in, there's work that has to be done to make it do what you're saying, and there's a lot of value in that chain by enabling it to be plugged in and quickly utilized. You mentioned talking to customers. This means that you're getting the kind of feedback that's driving the use cases. You mentioned, I think, a POS a point of sale use case. Are there a few other use cases that you guys at Dell really see as going to be the leading yeah. for Native Edge? Yes, many. So if you just look at numbers, the industrial or, or vertical market is the largest one that is utilizing edge technology. Um, they're the most complex, 
the most diversified, the, the most in need, and probably the slowest to adapt because um, when you manufacture things, you don't want to slow down. You cannot pause a production line, and you're extremely cautious of what might happen. So while they have the biggest need and the biggest um, 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 complexity, they are maybe slower. Retail is the next one. Retail is moving much faster now. We talked about it before. They're trying to bring people back to stores. So how do you provide an experience that is far better than buying online or this whole concept of omnipresence? How do you connect the purchase online to a great experience in store better than the other guy? And so in a, in a, in a big store today, you might have 20 or 30 different applications running, analyzing, making sure that you get the best experience. So retail is the second one. Now, if you look at two, those two archetypes, you almost cover everything that you can um, see in other, like um, energy, oil and gas, power, distribution, yeah. substation, and telecom, even. Yeah. And so, yeah, th those are the leading, and from there we learn, and, uh, you know, the, the, the thing about innovation is that until you have a product in market, you don't actually know <laughs> if you're right or wrong. Right? No, you don't, but so, Dell does have the luxury of tens if not hundreds of thousands of customers. Absolutely. Large enterprises, global uh, you know, footprint, and of course, a lot of personas, meaning you have personas that are very OT, personas that are very IT, and then even executive and strategy level. I got to ask where AI fits into all this. You know, the edge is going to have to be between ambient data, sensor data. Uh, it's going to be the biggest proliferator of an exponential data wave. And so all this, you got to be thinking AI on top. Absolutely, AI um, is an accelerator and kind of one of the super use cases for Edge, right? So let's take a manufacturing environment. Today, we have bought machines over many, many years, and as we talked about before, we don't change them. You can life cycle a machine, what the, when they say life cycle, they mean keep it in place for 20, 25 years. So imagine a machine that came connected to a Windows 7 machine, and believe me, those are still out there, and it's still running. Inside to it, there's other applications and other uh, machines. So when you want to start making decisions based on AI, what you need is consistent, good data. Mm -hmm. So AI comes in and says, now we got to make decisions because we can, and now we have to think about refreshing all of those things. So first of all, AI is a driver for technologies. Um, the second part of it is that AI has been also, um, it's just creating new use cases altogether. So I mean, a lot of the edge business is machine vision. Machine vision has been AI for, for the longest time, right? Yep. What we do is inferencing. We try to have a machine look at something and detect what it is. And so with Native Edge, we facilitate the distribution of application and hardware, and we connect them together. On top of that, we can orchestrate services such as AI frameworks and in the future model distribution. So the leading use case in many cases is AI. What we're trying to do is not create um, specific AI value on top of Native Edge because we need to partner, yep. because this is other people's business and we need to make sure that we can add value. Yep. As you know, no company can do it on their own. Absolutely. So we got to find that line of where we stop and when we use others. Well, like the partnership you made with NVIDIA, the ability to train maybe a model that can identify risks in a factory or right. train a model that can use vision to you know, identify vulnerabilities, security breaches, you know, a lot of that with um, an edge manufacturing, oil and gas use cases, and safety concerns, things yep. like that. AI should naturally be easy to train and implement. And it sounds like you're building it to be flexible for that. I'd love to end with just a question kind of about the pivot within Dell. You as an executive leading the edge business, you know, definitely seeing that most of what you're doing here at Native Edge is software. It's really software. So, you know, company's kind of well known for moving big volumes of, of PCs and big iron but you're really seeing a, a transformational switch with your partners and ecosystem partners and moving to being a much more software-led company. How's that sort of evolution taking place? How are, how, how are you seeing the response from the ecosystem and of course from the customer? Well, I think most people don't know that most of our products includes a vast amount of software to begin with. Um, people you know, do not and, realize and that. I, I came from EMC into Dell. Yep. EMC had storage arrays. What is a storage array? It's your bunch of disk and a whole lot of software yes. to manage everything yes. else. So we have a lot of software developers. The power of a company like Dell is that you can do both. And so if you look at the edge market today, there are many smaller companies that may um, try to do what we described with Native Edge as software only. Actually, there are small companies, even larger companies trying. 
But the experience of delivering it on hardware in a known good state, everyone in the world powered on and connected to the network, cannot be done unless you have both. Yep. And you can guarantee not only the deployment, but customer support. You can change the manufacturing process to allow for SDO to even exist. So I don't think that it's you know, hardware or software. I think Dell can provide an end-to-end -end service. It is true that facilitating and solving the complexity problem, um, especially because the complexity exists in multiple locations and you need to orchestrate them, it clearly is a software problem. Absolutely. And so we are investing a lot in software. In fact, the, the, we have made a few very, you know, um, small IP acquisitions to allow Native Edge to move even faster. Yep. And that's what makes this, um, you know, a very intriguing place to be at Dell. Well, my viewpoint as an analyst is that the Edge is going to be a, a, a battleground for business and for data that is going to be a massive differentiator kind of in the haves and have nots. And the way you orchestrate, the way you build, the way you develop to make it flexible, uh, make it accessible. The network fabric has to be you know, clear, and of course secure is something that you mentioned. I mean, this is going to be the future. There will be exponentially more data I at agree. the edge of the Absolutely data center. Agree. So it makes a really good uh, opportunity for you, Gil. It makes a great opportunity for us to add value to our customers, for sure. Great answer, and that's a great way to wrap up this interview. I want to thank you so much for joining me here. Thank you for having me. It was fun. Absolutely. All right, everybody, thanks so much for tuning into this day one session. Please stay with us for more.